how is everyone today? It is December now. Um, one of the things that <laughs> I was thinking about as as it's this time of year was um, it is now the eighth anniversary of uh, the 12 days of Westeros. And I don't know how many people out there remember the 12 days of Westeros, but eight years ago, I think it was on the 10th of December, eight years ago, uh, George um, posted a series of blog posts every day. Uh, he was counting down from December 10th to the first day of winter. And he was, um, he, uh, he, like everyone was so excited. Cause it's like, it's like, you know, he was doing the, the 12 days of Christmas, but, um, every day like was, was like, Oh, the, the, the phrase like 12 phrase of, of something, you know, seven Starks of whatever. And everyone was so pumped. Like they were just like, Oh my God, it's coming. It's coming. Like on the first day of winter, like the winds of winter is going to be announced. Um, and the hype was getting so large like everyone was on board like like even the skeptics at the time who were like no 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 it can't be and then um you know even halfway through george was like no this isn't a countdown to any any sort of announcement of, of anything and we still all were on board like no no it's got to be why else would you be doing like the 12 days of christmas like like counting down to the first day of of winter um, if not for an announcement of the winds of winter. And of course, you know, Christmas came and Christmas went and people were really, really disappointed. And that was, it's just funny that it was like eight years ago that that, that, that happened. But it was <laughs> giving me some PTSD. Like some people really remember that day. Like, oh gosh, like I remember being really, really excited. Really, really excited. Um to uh on that day oh still a summer child um i had an interesting question that i wanted to get get to i think uh i saw early in the in the um in the questions here let's see was it J jinzo spoon where did where to go here we go why did george r martin name lightbringer after lucifer um, now this naming has, has more to do. <laughs> yes. You mentioned something about Moorcock. Ironically, it does actually have to do with Moorcock and Moorcock. So Lightbringer is, um, so George R. R. Martin was heavily, heavily influenced by, uh, a series of fantasy novels by uh about El El Eldrick by Michael Moorcock. Um Eldrick is an albino warrior who carries a sword uh called that has its own soul in it called Stormbringer. Um and it's really about like why Michael Moorcock named uh Stormbringer Stormbringer. Um, essentially Lucifer does like the, the, the name Lucifer traditionally does mean like bringer of light or bringer of the dawn. Um, it's been associated with the planet Venus and all sorts of different stuff. Um, and this, this ending, you know, loose being light and like to fur, like bringing, um, and certainly George knows about this, 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 this etymology. Cause he named Christopher Botley, Christopher, Christopher meaning, bringer of sadness and bringer bringer of sorrow. So it's not that he doesn't like know about like what Lucifer means and it meaning light bringer. He of course knows this. Um, but Michael Moorcock, when he, when he named Stormbringer that he was already making a play on Lucifer. And so he didn't want to be, he didn't like Michael Moorcock didn't want it to be too on the nose. So he changed it from light bringer to Stormbringer. But it was essentially the same thing. Like, and then George just made it back to being on the nose again, like naming naming the sword Lucifer. Um, 
And so in Michael Moorcock's, like if we do analysis of Michael Moorcock's um, work, which Michael Moorcock was was tearing down fantasy tropes like before people even thought about it. Like this is the 1960s and he's already he's already destroying, you know, like Lord of the Rings while Lord of the Rings is going on, you know, like it's Michael Moorcock is super early in this kind of stuff. Um, and keep in mind, George, George R. Martin was super into him, super, super into to Conan the Barbarian and, and other stuff that was presenting fantasy in this gritty real world filled with like flawed characters and sex and violence and all sorts of stuff and, and, and anti-heroes and all of this but decades before decades before like the trend like that you know happened for for all fantasy so michael moorcock the whole idea with stormbringer is he made the main character kind of like stormbringer was this dark um sword that had its that had its own soul that would that would that would steal people's souls and eldrick would would become more and more evil and corrupted by the sword over time and it was kind of an analogy to drugs and sex and and masturbation and all sorts of stuff like all the things that are evil like are in that sword um and so over time like eldrick is going to become like drained uh, in the same way that Stannis is. So, like, the sword represents all the evils and vices of the world. Um, it, you know, it, it just, and, and in that sense, it's, you know, all the, the, the vices of the world are Satan or devil, all the devil's work, you know, everything, drugs are the devil, masturbation is the devil, sex is the devil, like, all that stuff is there. Um, so Stannis's descent is is just the same as, as what's being stolen from Michael Moorcock. Um, I mean, and it's just ironic that the guy's name is Moorcock. Like, of course, like the sword definitely represents like phallic imagery, like dicks are swords and swords are dicks. Like it's totally it, Elric, Elric, Elric. I'm sorry. I said Elder, Eldric. It, I'm, am I saying, cause there's an, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm conflating him with Edric storm. I think so. It's Elric. Yes. Elric, Elric. Yeah. People giving me, me, me shit. Um, masturbation is evil. And this is the, the, like, this is the whole thing is that it's somewhat ironic. Like there's, these are people that also didn't believe that there's anything. This is the sixties. These are people that also don't believe there's anything wrong with sex or drugs. Okay. So like, um, but they, I mean, it's not like they don't understand that when you take something to an extreme, like any vice taken to the extreme is, is going to be degrading to you if you do nothing but that. Um, like you can have sex addiction and drug addiction and masturbation addict addiction and all the sorts of stuff. So um, he, he's 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 aware of all these sorts of things, like Michael Moorcock when he writes this this story. And then on top of this idea, because he's breaking down the fantasy trope of like, oh, this hero has this destiny, and these these heroes usually have some sort of special sword with a name and all of this kind of shit. Um, but he's placing a soul in the sword. And of course, like when you place a soul on the sword and the sword has its own um, uh, agency, all of a sudden you're, you're, you're introducing the idea of free will versus destiny, like quite directly. Not that the hero doesn't also have free will. He does. But all of a sudden you're adding the second agent in there um, and, and, and playing with this idea. And so when when... And this is why, like, very early, when, when R plus A equals J was, like, storming and was just the talk of, of ice and fire, like, it didn't sit with me right. Like, clearly George R. Martin knew about that, that, that fantasy stories of the classic hero, like, saving the world according to prophecy, was bullshit. Like, like clearly, clearly if he's, like, basing so much off of Michael Moorcock, who is purposely, like, bringing up these ideas and shattering them and breaking them down. Um, like, he's going to know about this. Like, this whole idea of, like, the entire point of, of Elric is, like, you've got, like, you know, this destiny, but then you're introducing, like, a sword with free will. And free will is, like, goes against destiny. Like, and this idea. Um, and it just being dark and evil. Like, all of these stories being, being, um, being, being related and, and like, breaking down like just trashing the fantasy tropes and he's doing this in the 60s so it's it's lightbringer 
like, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to get it like too much into like what George was thinking. Like George was just like, George is a genius in many, many respects, but he was just stealing and lifting an idea on this one. He's stealing all of the work of Michael Moorcock and placing it into and placing it into that. There's, there's no like additional analysis on like what it means. Like, yeah, he likes the idea that like, you know, a sword's named Lucifer and it's creepy and it's associated with fire and he's trying to make the Lord of Light religion like creepy. But it's, it's, you know, it more has to do with like just, you know, pretty close. So much homage that it's practically, practically plagiarism with, with, um, with Michael Moorcock. Um, but yeah, it's, it's supposed to like, it's supposed to be Stannis's dick. He's, he's supposed to also be thinking about like it. Stannis is supposed to degrade because it's sort of like him becoming addicted to drugs. Like he's a heroin addict by the end, like looking super aged, just how, like when we think like, when we meet people in our own society that that like su- look super aged for how old they are, they're usually drug addicts, right? So like the idea is that Stannis is a drug addict, you know, and and um, in the same respect, and um, part of the themes are also about like personal wish fulfillment, like bringing about the end of the world and stuff like that as well, like doing things for yourself and selfishness that kind of like. Um, also bring like brings doom like Stannis also like is very interested in him being king like he does you know he um we do have that turn in a dance with dragons where it kind of gives lip service to like oh I needed to to act more like a king but prior to that you know he was just kind of doing things for himself like I need to be king like it's my it's my right but um so it gets all into that but it was all stuff that like it's it's all Elric. It's just all Elric. That's all it is. 